thank God for grace coming unto us to be with you again. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Beautiful God, wonderful God, magnificent God. Thank you for cleansing us from all sins. Thank you for having mercy on us. Thank you for your light that's all around us. Thank you for the light of your word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Take all the glory and all the honor. Arise and shine. Your light has come. The glory of God is risen upon us. That light is shining in gross darkness. Gross darkness cannot comprehend it. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The task of evangelism, we all have been given that task. Every one of us. From the least to the greatest. The disciples came to Jesus in Matthew, the 24th chapter. And uh, uh, we are on the tiptoe of the end of the end. These are the last days. Look at what they said. They asked him a question in verse 3, and he sat upon the man of olives. And the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? The first question. The second question, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? And the third question, and of the end of the world. The end of the system of this world. The end of Satan. The end of sin. Huh. He said the prince of the power of the air. He said the God of this world. There is an end. Don't ever think everything will continue the way it is. There is an end. If there is a beginning, there is an end. The end of the world. Jesus answered and said unto them, Take it that no man deceive you. So we're going to see a lot of people, a lot of deception. And the master deceiver is man. Man is the one that will deceive himself before Satan take over. Say, be not deceived, be not deceived, be not deceived, be not deceived. What you sow is what you reap. Be not deceived, be not deceived, be not deceived. We look at all those deceptions. No man deceive you. Get into the word yourself. Don't let man be the motivation. Get the word. Get into the water. Get into the water of the word. Let the word eat first your ankle, then your knee then your loin, then let the water be a mighty river, the water of the word, the water of the word, Jesus, by his Holy Spirit, let no man deceive you, many shall come in my name, saying I'm Christ, and shall deceive many, that will happen, they will deceive many, that will happen, they will deceive many, go into the word yourself, Check the word, ask the Holy Spirit. He said, This man. Now, if this scripture is not fulfilled, then we are lied to, and God forbid, God cannot lie. Jesus cannot lie to us, so we know many shall be deceived. But he didn't say everyone shall be deceived. So, my prayer is that you and I will not be deceived as we get into the truth of the word. For many shall come in my name, saying, I'm Christ, and shall deceive many. Verse 6, and he shall hear of wars, rumors of wars. I don't need to tell you about see that you be not troubled simmer down you see those who are troubled they are the wicked the wicked they're like the troubled sea what's troubling you relax <laughs> jesus is on the throne be not troubled in the world you shall have tribulation be of good cheer glory to god glory to god jesus christ is lord be of good cheer i did it i will overcome the world this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith he that is born of God overcometh the world. First John chapter 5, verse 4. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Say must. But the end is not yet. Here we go. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines in all the, some nations, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. And this, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And ye, all that will live godly in this life, shall suffer persecution. And then shall many be offended. Are you offended? Some don't go to church anymore. Some don't pray anymore. Some don't read the Bible anymore. Some start from being a Christian right from the way your mama taught you. Your papa taught you, your grandmother taught you, and they've already veered towards something else. Offended, fulfilling scriptures, and shall betray one another, one another. Not the people of the opposing faith betraying right now, in house, 
betray one another. It's a sign of the last days. And shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Just because somebody says something to come to pass does not mean that you don't try the spirit. Real prophets are men and women of the word. A more sure word of prophecy. The word says it. I receive it. The Holy Ghost reveal it to me in the word. I do it. The word. Many false prophets. Antichrist shall rise. As a matter of fact, Antichrist will be calling others Antichrist. You know, angel of darkness appearing as an angel of light. Oh, we're going to see a whole lot of that. Many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. God, it will look as if the blessing is coming, 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 coming. Regardless of my lifestyle, sin, 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 sin. So it seems as if God approve of my sin. I can just live any life I want to live. That will be their testimony. To let that be yours. And iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end shall be saved. Here we go. Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. This gospel. Hey. <laughs> shall be preached this gospel shall be preached so who is it that god is committing the preaching of the gospel to you are not romans chapter 10 verse 14 to 15 how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard how shall they hear without a preacher? How many ling uh, people group, I mean, linguistically uh, unrich people of our world are we making attempt to reach with the gospel? How many of us are fasting and prayer towards reaching the unreached, even around us? We have so many people right now that are yet to know Jesus. What's our concern? What's our strategy? What's our prayer? How shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach except they be sent? I'd like you to know the word they be sent. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. You have a mission. The very first day you are born again, your mission is to preach the good news. You know, that's the power of God. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation how many people in your office knows that you are a Christian you're going to be in the, in the, in the, in the, in the train and the bus with somebody some people how many we know within that 30 minutes 20 minutes that you're a Christian in your neighborhood how many knows that you're a Christian how many have you reached how many have you preached Jesus to yes I'm not ashamed now they speak of you evil, they kick you out of their company, they label you, they do all kinds of things. But you know that the spirit of glory rests on you, says First Peter chapter 4. You're just being glorified and dignified. The insult is not to be compared to the life that will be changed. What shall he profit a man if he gain the whole world and loses his soul? You are God's agent. I love what Mordecai told Esther. If you refuse to make a move, enlargement will come to the Jews from somewhere else. And you and your father's house shall be destroyed. And he ended it up by saying, Who know it? That you have come to the kingdom. Remember we started with seeing the kingdom, entering the kingdom, seeking the kingdom and his righteousness. And now we are talking about why, what the, my task in the kingdom who know it that you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this one woman named one unnamed woman passionately wanted to touch the helm 
of the garment of Jesus to save ourselves. Issue of blood. She has so many issues. She wants to solve her own personal issue. So all she want to do, let me touch, let me touch, let me touch, let me touch. She didn't have to fast. She didn't have to risk her life. She didn't have to say, if I perish, I perish. It's just for herself. She was even hiding. And God did it. But you know another woman in the Bible called Esther? She wasn't after saving the issue. She has no issue. She's already in the kingdom. She's a queen. She was a queen. But you know why she had to go through what she went through? Three days fast. Three days prayer. Putting on sackcloth, interceding. You know why she had to do that? She looked behind to see her people. My people, they're about to die. And I'm a queen. I got to do something to save her. And she said, I don't want to touch the hem of his garment. I want to touch the golden scepter. What do you want to touch? You have touched the hem of his garment. It's a helm. Healing, deliverance, prosperity, peace, joy for yourself. It's time to touch the golden scepter. To touch the hem of his garment, you don't need to die to flesh. You don't need to die to self. But to touch the golden scepter, there is a death price that must be paid. And that's death to self. Anyone that want to follow Jesus, be where Jesus is right now. Jesus is in the nations right now. He wants to save them. He's in the Middle East right now. He's in Asia right now. Jesus is in North Africa right now. If you want to touch the golden scepter, you want to follow Jesus, you got to carry your cross, deny yourself or die to self. And then you are qualified to follow him and be where he is. God bless you as you take up this task. Holy Spirit will reveal it to you. God Almighty will call you into it. God Almighty, who has called you to it, we established you there. It's time. It's time. Check the time. We gotta run. We gotta move. We have no time. We gotta move in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for an hearing here. Thank you for a seeing us. Thank you for the urgency of the need of the kingdom. Thank you for seeing ourselves worthy. Take all the glory. We worship you. In Jesus' name. Amen.